Welcome to GMAT Math Online Math Prep Videos. In this GMAT Math Online video, we explain sums of series of integers. Many problems involve the sum of a series of integers defined by some rule. Here are some sample problems. What is the sum of the integers from 1 to 100? What is the sum of the even integers between 50 and 150 inclusive? What is the sum of the odd integers between 50 and 150? What is the sum of even integers between minus 10 and 10 inclusive? Each of these problems can be solved in the same way. We'll illustrate the process with an example using the first problem on the list above. What is the sum of the integers from 1 to 100? To solve this problem, we'll start simply. Suppose you want the sum of the numbers 1 through 5. You write them in ascending order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you write them again in reverse order. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you have two copies of the series. Now you add the top numbers to the bottom numbers. Obviously, every one of these five sums is the same, 6. We arranged it to come out that way. We have five sums, and each one equals 6. So what would happen if we did the same thing with the numbers 1 through 10? Answer, we would get 10 sums, each equal to 11. What about 1 through 100? We would get 100 sums, each equal to 101. Our original problem was to determine the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. We're now in a position to do that. We have two copies of the series, 1 to 100, and we've added them together to get 100 sums, each equal to 101. If we now add these 100 sums together, we get 100 times 101 equals 10,100. But remember, this is the sum of 1 to 100 twice. So to get the sum of 1 to 100, we divide this value, 10,100, by 2. 10,100 divided by 2 equals 5,050. The sum of the integers from 1 to 100 is 5,050. You might be interested in the general formula. The formula for the sum of the integers from 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2. In the problem we just solved, n was 100, so n plus 1 was 101. We multiplied 100 and 101, got 10,100, and then we divided by 2 to get the final answer, 5,050. Here's another problem. What is the sum of the even numbers between 50 and 150 inclusive? And here are some possible answers. Here's the solution. There are 101 numbers between 50 and 150 inclusive. 51 of these numbers are even, and 50 are odd. We write the series of numbers, starting with the first number, 50, followed by the second, 52, and the third, 54, and so forth until the last, 150. Then we start from the last number, 150, followed by 148, and so forth, down to the first, 50. Now we add the pairs. 50 plus 150 equals 200. 52 plus 148 equals 200. 54 plus 146 equals 200, and so forth and we see that each of these pairs sums to 200. Because there are 51 even numbers, there are 51 sums, each equal to 200. So the total sum is 51 times 200 divided by 2, which equals 51 times 100, and that equals 5100. So the correct answer is B. For more on sequences of integers, see our other videos and go to www.gmatmath.online. And you can get our eBooks, GMAT Math Basics, GMAT Math Problem Solving, and GMAT Math Data Sufficiency. Thanks for your interest.